I'm on a mission to get every achievement in the Crisis Trilogy, starting with the first game. In order to do this, I will need to finish the game on Delta Difficulty, where the enemies are extremely strong, you have no crosshair, and there is no indicator for incoming grenades. The game begins when Raptor Team, our squad, is sent to an island to rescue some archaeologists that have been captured. Our name is Nomad, and we are equipped with a pretty cool nano suit, which can go invisible, run super fast, and some other cool stuff. We end up parachuting out of a plane, and I overshoot the landing zone so we spend a bit of time meeting up. In absolutely no time at all, we come across our dear friend who has been mauled to pieces by a mysterious creature. Bad day at the office, huh? A little later, we bump into the archaeologist's boat, which is somehow frozen on land. This gave me my first achievement. One thing I like about this game is that you fight the North Koreans. I swear to god, this is pretty much the only game where it's not the Russians. On our miraculous crusade, we have to take out a couple of North Korean camps, and on the way, I found a sniper and completely accidentally got an achievement for killing an enemy from 200 meters away. One thing I'll say is that Jesus Christ, the enemies are strong on Delta difficulty. They can take five bullets and get up like it's nothing. The best strategy is to use stealth mode to walk around them and then shoot them all in the back of the head. Whenever one of our guys dies, we have to vaporize them to stop our suit's technology from getting into North Korean hands. I just feel it would be kinda creepy to see your co-worker incinerated. Eventually we come to a camp and find one of the people we're looking for. Oh sweet, achievement. If there's one thing I have learned in my short time with this game, it's that you really can't go in guns blazing. You have to be very sneaky and use your cloak mode effectively. Anyhow, I met up with our team leader getting an achievement. I sprinted straight off to the next objective and on my way snagged the achievement for sprinting 3 kilometers. Along with the main objective, there are other little things that you can do to make things slightly easier for you. On my way, I disabled the enemy's GPS or something, and that was the fourth task I completed giving me an achievement. Back to the main story, I headed over to a North Korean excavation site where we find a kidnapped doctor being forced to study this weird electric rock. The rock ends up exploding, freezing everyone to death. Luckily, our nano suit manages to maintain our temperature and we survive. Anyhow, it kind of alerts a bunch of angry Koreans to our location, so we have to escape. After dying many times... I run through a forest avoiding foot patrols, trucks, and helicopters, and I make it to the extraction point where I'm supposed to evacuate. Unfortunately, there are four guys there who have nano suits. This was certainly a challenge to say the least, and I perished numerous times. My god, these guys are so fast. Eventually, I killed them, clearing the landing zone and reuniting with the only surviving member of my squad. In total, I got three achievements. One back when I discovered the excavation site, one when I cleared the landing zone, and finally, I got one for completing the first act of the story on Delta difficulty. After getting picked up, we head to a battleground where our troops are being absolutely butchered. We're tasked with sneaking into an enemy base so we can take out all of the enemy's AA guns. The checkpoints for this part were horrendous, and I died so many times. One time, I accidentally walked into an explosive barrel. I just w no way! Yeah, this game has sensitive inputs. Upon destroying all the AA guns, I got an achievement. Unfortunately, on my way, I missed one of the secondary objectives, so I'll need to come back later and chapter select for the achievement. I was also tasked with destroying an enemy cruiser, which I gladly did. Right after, we jump into a tank and we have to push through enemy lines. There were a bunch of tanks in my way, but I managed to snag two achievements while in the tank. One for killing 200 people and another for destroying five tanks. I was able to secure a train station with no trouble at all. I was completely unharmed, and I got an achievement. This mission had a bunch of secondary objectives, like taking out some AA guns, making a target for planes to strike, and destroying a barrier blocking our troops' path. Here, I got the achievement for completing 8 secondary objectives, along with one for completing the mission. Carrying on with my murderous conquering, I went to steal some intel, and on my way, I picked up a frog. In the next section, I had to single-handedly clear out a quarry, and my god, it was so fucking hard. Probably my lowest point during this playthrough so far. I died so many fucking times, and one time I did it and there was just no checkpoint and while walking around I punched a car and it fucking exploded. No. I'm not kidding. The only good thing that came from that situation was when I destroyed my fifth helicopter for an achievement. After that ordeal, we head further into the mines to rescue the hostage. We get ambushed on our way down and taken hostage by a Korean general. Anyhow, have you guys ever seen the movie where the big bad guy wants an all-powerful weapon and the science dude is like, no, you can't, it's too powerful, but then he does it anyway? Yeah. 
that's what happens. We end up fighting the Korean dude, and it was actually super easy, because you can just pick up a box and throw it at him, which will knock him over, giving you time to unload a full magazine of SMG ammo on him. Defeating him earned me an achievement, as did completing the second act. Following that, quite possibly the worst mission in the game ensues. You have to go through these weird fucking tunnels with zero gravity. It took me the better part of an hour and I had to watch multiple YouTube tutorials. I don't know why developers decide to put these shitty missions in games. Wolfenstein did the exact same thing. When I finally escaped, I got an achievement. When we get out of the cave, we're bombarded with these strange overpowered alien enemies, and we're about to die when Prophet, one of the guys in our squad who supposedly died earlier, jumps out and saves us. He gives us a powerful weapon, but he's not feeling too well, so we have to escort him to safety. We make it to a bunch of marines preparing to evacuate, and an achievement pops. Right after that, I snag the achievement for customizing all five of the modifications on my assault rifle. Shortly after our arrival, we push back to a guy called Major Strickland's position. We flee on the back of a truck, manning a turret, shooting down these huge weird alien things as we go. On our way, we have to rescue a doctor lady from earlier whose plane had been shot down. This part was also really difficult, and I can't say I enjoyed myself too much. We eventually make it to Major Strickland and hold off the enemies as long as we can, while as many marines as possible evacuate. Unfortunately, one of the big boy aliens comes along, and if it wasn't for Major Strickland heroically sacrificing himself, we would have been fucked. The next section was also pretty painful. I had to pilot one of the transports, called VTOLs. They had really weird controls, and there are big fucking aliens charging you from every direction. I did manage to get past, but I will admit to numerous deaths. We get back to the aircraft carrier, and oh, have you guys seen the movie where the government is going to launch a nuke at the enemy, but the main characters are like, no, no, there's another way, but they do it anyway? Yeah. That happens. So, it turns out, launching the nukes was a bad idea, and the alien things get way stronger. They attack our aircraft carrier, and shit hits the fan. While defending the carrier, I picked up a minigun and got an achievement for killing an enemy with every weapon. I also got the achievement for killing 400 enemies total. A short way into the battle, the aliens send in this big guy to take the flight deck. It was honestly a really underwhelming fight, but nonetheless, I killed him, earning an achievement. Seconds later, they send in another big boy, and we have to use an experimental weapon to defeat it. It was again pretty underwhelming, and when I defeated him, I earned an achievement. Upon the credits rolling, I got three achievements for completing the game on various difficulties. Before we get into the final stretch, I'll just say that I had a pretty good time with this game. It was really cheap, I bagged the entire trilogy for 30 bucks, and while there were definitely a couple of shitty missions, I'd recommend it if you're thinking about getting it on sale. And here are the last 8 achievements. Alright, this should be the last secondary objective I have to get, and I, I wasn't recording, but I got another achievement for using every attachment in the game, it was this grenade launcher, so I'll just add that to the counter now. I used Mission Select for this, and I, I put it on easy mode, and my god, the difference is stunning. I could probably just do fist only. There we go, perfect soldier, complete all secondary objectives. God, if that wasn't the, the only one I missed, I don't know what the hell I would have done. I think I'm going to stick around for a bit in this mission, because there's a few more achievements I reckon I can snag here. There you go, kill 20 enemies with grab. Yes, that's a nano suit guy. Yes, I got an achievement. Uh, uh, put me down. All right, I need to do the mission onslaught, staying in the entire in the same tank the entire time. Oh, I reached the end of the mission. Hell yeah, there we go. Bye bye. I also killed ten enemies by throwing stuff at them, but I wasn't recording. Oh, tag thirty enemies in the markers. Hell yeah, and final achievement for killing five enemies without being spotted. Oh, thank god it popped. There you have it. Now go check out this video on Mafia 3.